Astronomers have cataloged eight planets, 6,500 comets, and more than 525,000 asteroids. But a mysterious thing happened on October 19, 2017, in Hawaii, that grabbed the attention of millions of people and scientists around the world, because what they discovered was unlike anything seen before. The first ever recorded interstellar object was found to have entered our solar system somewhere from deep space. It was given the name Oumuamua, named after the Hawaiian term for scout or messenger from afar. And its path showed that it was not gravitationally bound to our own solar system. But what was this strange object? And where did it come from? Oumuamua was first spotted by an astronomer named Rob Wirick, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Hawaii's Institute for Astronomy, who was looking for Earth-approaching asteroids. He thought he had found one but then was able to locate it in two images from the previous night. However, when he combined the photographs, the orbit didn't make any sense to him. He discovered the unusual object moving through space not too far from the Earth's orbit, while looking at recorded observations from the telescope perched on top of a volcano in Hawaii, the Haleakala Observatory. At first, many people thought it was an asteroid, and then a comet. But now some say the object may not be an asteroid or comet after all. And as astrologers continue to argue over what it is and what it's made of, there are some that believe Oumuamua is an alien probe sent from another civilization. While that sounds ridiculous, the interstellar object could answer some of the eternal questions surrounding life in our universe. Oumuamua has had some zany theories as to what it is and where it came from, but one of the most interesting things about this space rock was its highly unusual oblong shape that had many people saying it looks like a giant cigar. Its spherical diameter is estimated to be around 1,312 feet long and 400 feet wide. But since no one knows what the composition of the object is, its size could be smaller. Scientists were surprised that the interstellar space rock was able to survive flying around the sun without being vaporized, as it was heated to more than 570 degrees Fahrenheit. But researchers believe that the comet had more than a foot of thick rock and dust coating, which prevented the sun from destroying it. The crazy thing about Oumuamua is that it was only detected 40 days after it passed its closest point to the sun. The skyscraper-sized rock abruptly hurtled into our solar system and was only seen as it was speeding away from the sun and was about 85 times as far away as the moon. Because we only got a chance to see Oumuamua as it was on its way out of the solar system, scientists are still trying to figure out where the object came from. Researchers have tried to identify the star system where Oumuamua came from and were able to combine data from the European Space Agency's Gaia mission that pinpoints the precise location of stars. Using this data, it was identified that it likely came from a binary star system, which has two stars that orbit a center, unlike our single sun. One of the stars is HIP 3757, which is around 80 light years from Earth. But some think it has come from a more likely candidate, a sun-like star cataloged HD 292249. And there are two other stars where the object could have come from, but very little is known about them. The Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, or PAN-STARS-1, surveys the sky looking for moving or variable objects on a continual basis and also produces accurate astrometry and photometry of already detected objects. Basically, this telescope is set up to look for asteroids or comets that could pose a threat to our planet when it caught sight of the object. It was moving so fast and such a high velocity into our solar system that it proved it had come from somewhere else and was just passing by. Its speed was recorded at 58,905 miles per hour but the pull of the sun's gravity caused it to speed up until it reached a maximum speed of 196,229 miles per hour on September 6, 2018. As soon as the object's true trajectory was confirmed, all available telescopes on Earth were used to quickly study it before it moved out of range. It wasn't moving very fast relative to nearby stars, and a surprising fact is that it was the solar system that ran into Oumuamua, rather than the other way around. Oumuamua may have well been wandering through the Milky Way, unattached to any star system for hundreds of millions of years before its chance encounter with the solar system. The identity crisis that Oumuamua has gone through during its first year of discovery also proves just how mysterious this object is. At first, astronomers thought it was a comet, 
but there was no cloud of gas or dust enveloping the object, as most comets have. So it was then reclassified as an asteroid. But there was also a problem with this, as the researchers realized the object was moving faster than an asteroid should be, as if it were getting a boost from volatile materials evaporating off of its surface, exactly like a comet's surrounding cloud or tail that you would see in photographs. But Oumuamua had no tail. Now some researchers say that it's most likely the fragment of a comet that lost much of its surface water after being bombarded by cosmic rays on its lengthy track through interstellar space. Whether or not it's a comet or an asteroid, one thing remains clear. Oumuamua is not quite like anything seen before. Besides the fact that the object is unlike most cosmic objects, which are generally big lumps, the cigar-shaped object was spinning strangely like a stick tumbling end over end. And some say that it could have been a much larger object, which had a collision with a larger asteroid. However, many argue that if it is indeed a comet, it would have not survived its rotational spin and would have broken into pieces long ago. Despite the many realistic-looking illustrations you might have seen of the object, no one really knows what it looks like up close, although evidence suggests that it has a reddish surface. One of the more believable hypotheses is that this object could have been the remains of a planet that had a catastrophic collision with another planet, or that Oumuamua is a piece of a planet destroyed by tides as it was passing close to a red dwarf star in a binary system where the planet formed around the red dwarf's companion. But its orbit was destabilized and the planet swung past the red dwarf, about to be hurtled into interstellar space, and was torn apart by the incredible gravitational forces. Don't think it's possible? Red dwarfs can be surprisingly dense, and some being the size of Jupiter, but with a hundred times larger mass. This makes their tides very strong, which can disrupt planetary bodies that come too close, such as when Jupiter disrupted comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in 1994, before pieces of the comet smashed into the planet. The collision produced scars that were visible from Earth. If a planet can be shredded into trillions of fragments which are then ejected into interstellar space, such catastrophic events could produce more interstellar objects than regular ejections of comets and asteroids by planets. And although Oumuamua was the first visitor from outside the solar system, astronomers will soon have the chance to see many more of these objects. A new telescope named the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope is under construction in Chile and it should become operational in the year 2022. LSST will be a robotic telescope that will take a complete scan of the whole sky down to very faint objects every three days. So it will very literally catch anything that moves. If Oumuamua is not a complete fluke, the LSST should detect about one such object every year, giving scientists and researchers plenty to study. It is thought that objects like Oumuamua could have brought life to Earth one of the things that got scientists excited was the fact that the object had an outer crust of rock, which could have provided insulation and radiation shielding. Because of this, some researchers have said that microbes could be incubating on the object and could be able to live on the outer edges of the solar system. Besides life, the biggest thing that distinguishes Earth from other planets is its abundance of water, which is said to have been brought by millions of ice comets which impacted the planet long ago during the heavy bombardment period. Along with that ice, it's possible that life was brought to the planet this way, and it could be possible that some kind of living organism could be kept in a cold deep freeze state, and any living organism inside of the rock would get significant protection on the inside. And by the way, we can probably put the alien probe thing to rest. When Oumuamua was still in the solar system, astronomers in the outback of Western Australia used the Murchison Wide Field Array Telescope to eavesdrop on the rocky visitor. They checked for radio transmissions coming from the object between the frequencies of 72 and 102 megahertz, which is almost similar to frequencies used in FM radio broadcasts. If Oumuamua holds any more secrets, they're likely to remain that way. It will pass out of the solar system in a few years, and it's already too far away for any telescope to see. And its path shows that it will never enter our solar system again. But for now, the search for Oumuamua's home continues. Now, scientists wait and watch the skies for the next interstellar visitor in hopes it can shed some light on where life came from and give us a quick glimpse into another solar system. We hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. 
And if you like the video, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.